Diluc and Kalcharo. A lot of people have been discussing whether or not if Kalcharo will receive the Diluc treatment since he is, you know, the first Electro DPS unit in the game. Is he going to get power crept by future upcoming Electro units and is he still going to be a viable option? Today's video, we're pretty much going to cover that and we're going to pretty much talk about whether or not if Kalcharo will get power crep or is he not going to be power crep and is he still going to be a very strong electro dps unit so let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and hop right into the video but before i start let's define what power creep is power creep is when the situation where successive updates or expansions to a game introduce more powerful units or abilities leaving the older ones underpowered so let's say for example in version 1.3 we're gonna have a busted electro dps unit and that unit is better than Kalcharo. So therefore, there is no need for us to even use Kalcharo anymore because that new DPS unit is better than him and she performs better than Kalcharo. That is basically what power creep means. Now, when we take a look at the Genshin 1.0 tier list, you guys can see that d Luke was literally an SS tier. He was absolutely busted alongside with Vinti. But when we switch on over to the Genshin 4.7 tier list, Diluc is currently in C tier, and when we look at Venti's tier, he is no longer in S tier or even SS tier. He got moved down to B tier. So, Power Corrupt in Genshin is extremely strong, and I can definitely see that happening in Wuthering Waves. Now, there's a system in Genshin where there are characters called Archons. Archons are essentially gods, and Archons, we currently have five Archons in the game as of to right now. And all five Archons are absolutely busted. I'll say the weakest one is probably Venti. But besides Venti, Archons are just absolutely broken in this game. And Wuthering Ways has a similar system because of the Sentinels. Now in the version 1.1 update, we are going to have our first Sentinel character. So if you guys paid attention to the lore, this character is associated with one of the Sentinels. And... There is no way they're going to make this character trash. Every single time we have a character who's associated with some sort of god, that character is always broken. So when this character comes out, I don't know which class, like what I mean by class is like, you know, support, DPS, or et cetera. I don't know what she's going to do, and I don't know what element she's going to be, but I hope she's not going to be Electro because if she is Electro, say goodbye to Kalcharo. And if she's a DPS unit, say goodbye because there is no way that Kalcharo is going to compete with a sentinel character now would i get mad if Kalcharo is power crept by a future upcoming electro unit um not really and the reason why is because me i summon characters for gameplay and their kit if a character is trash but they have amazing gameplay i would still summon for them and I would say like 70% of you know, the gacha community, people summon characters based off of their kit. If the character is absolutely useless and terrible, I'll say a lot of people won't summon for that character. Plus, we are still at the early phase of the game. So there is no way that Wuthering Ways they're going to release a unit that is pretty much trash. When we're, in, when we're currently in the beginning phase of the game, they're going to make sure to release busted units at the beginning phase of the game so that everybody can summon for those characters. And then once we reach in like, let's say version 2.3, 2.4, that's when they're gonna start releasing characters who are in B tier, C tier, and et cetera, because we have a lot of busted units in the game. And by the time we reach, let's say 2.0 or 2.3, uh, people are gonna mostly summon for characters based off of gameplay and their character design, because we pretty much have a lot of meta characters in the game. Now, this is where Cruel Games can fumble the bag. If they make future units extremely OP to the point where the units we have in game right now are irrelevant, that's when things are going to go south because everyone is pretty much investing in Kalcharo of uh, Varina because they're one of the top units in the game right now. So I really hope that in future updates, they are still relevant because they're really nice characters and they do have a lot of potential to remain in the meta. But of course, there's going to be units who are going to be better than them. But it depends on how, like how big the gap is between, you know, Kalcharo and future upcoming Electro characters. If the gap is so huge to the point where Kalcharo is no longer needed, 
that's gonna be sad because he is a really nice unit and i have a huge feeling that if they do release electro like electro dps unit who can use their ultimate three times in 30 seconds that's just not gonna be good so it really depends on how cruel games execute the power creep system in this game it's gonna happen regardless but how are they going to do it how are they going to implement it so we're just gonna have to wait and see what's going to take place in future updates and weathering ways because we are still in the early phase of the game and so far everything is looking good all of the five star limited characters are really nice and the uh, standard characters are also really good as well they require low investment which is really good for free to play players and the main character is very very good havoc mc is absolutely busted so weathering ways it's looking good as up to right now i just hope that this tier list doesn't turn into this tier list right here because Let's be honest, guys. Ayato, Deya, I mean, Deya, I understand that. But Ayato, Eula, Ido, and C tier is absolutely crazy to me. Because you guys remember when these characters dropped, they were busted. Ido was like insane. And then once, uh, once Navia came, Ido was just completely irrelevant. So I just hope that Wuthering Waves, their power creep system isn't as bad as Genshin. And this isn't me dogging on Genshin. It's just... I just hope that Wuthering Waves, they don't make the same mistakes that Genshin did because the power creep system can really affect the longevity of the game because Wuthering Waves, the combat in Wuthering Waves and the difficulty is way more different than Genshin's difficulty. Like the game is actually quite challenging. Like the challenges against the bosses, the monsters, it's really difficult. So the power creep system is going to be very important in Wuthering Waves. And I feel like for Genshin, it wasn't that important because the game wasn't like, let's be honest, guys, Genshin isn't even difficult. You can literally use D tier characters and you can beat that game. It's just that if the same thing applies to Wuthering Waves, now the effect is going to be way more devastating. Like it's going to have a way more devastating effect on Wuthering Waves because the game is actually difficult. So I just hope that these units on the tier list as of to right now, they are not going to be trash and upcoming future future updates so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you haven't i really appreciate it and share your opinions and thoughts to the comment section down below do you guys agree disagree i want to see how you guys feel and i hope you guys have a good day and i'll be catch you guys on the next one peace